Hi, my name's Carly. I am the Global Sales Manager here at Antrica. And today I'm going to talk you through the overall range of our miniature UAV video encoders and decoders. Um, we thought it would be useful just to do a bit of an overview so that you can get a, a bit of a feel for all the options available uh, to help make the right decision for your project. So we really have two main ranges in our products in this particular category. We have the lower cost uh, variant, um, which is a slightly more basic product, um, very effective video encoder uh, in more of a, a kind of medium sized footprint such as this one here, um, and also with this one just here as well. Uh, we have a couple of different options with those. We've got HDMI as an input, um, and we have two different variants of that. They're called the 1770 and then the 1770 Plus. Um, and the Plus essentially is just a slightly more powerful variant. Uh, it can do a couple more uh, streams, so you know it's just slightly more powerful in that respect. Um, and then we also have a HDSDI with composite variant, which is what this one is here. So you can sort of see that these have got the two, two cables. Now in this uh, lower cost range of products, they are China-based products. Um, with the composite and the HDSDI, that does have a high silicon chipset in it, so that's worth considering. Um, but with the HDMI variants, such as this one here, um, they have Taiwanese chipsets, so they do classify as NDAA approved. So these are um, designed to, to fit into kind of more lower cost kind of projects where you need just simple video encoding uh, without any more advanced features. And then that brings me on to the other range of our products, which is more the higher end um, side of things, which are uh, a selection of these products here. So I'll just pop this one to one side so that you can sort of see our overall range here. So um, this particular range was designed uh, specifically for UAV and unmanned applications. And the benefit of our products is that they can take multiple video inputs into a very, very small board. Um, so the latest variant of the products that we have is the 1776 range. Um, and that comes in a few different variations. So the 1776 is our latest variant of our UAV modules. Um, and we have three different variants here to show to you today. So the first one is the ANT 1776, which is just the basic uh, product that we do. Now, the beauty of this product is it is, as you can see, a very small footprint. Um, but you can also choose to add various different mezzanines to it. So you can choose from HDMI, HDSDI, and composite. And you can have up to two of these mezzanines at any one time connected to the board. And they can do up to 1080p60 in terms of the input resolution. In addition to that, you also have a USB-C input on the board as well, which can also take an additional USB-C camera input as well. So essentially having up to three HD P60 video inputs per one tiny board. So very, very useful on unmanned applications where you have a first person camera, but then you also have thermal imaging camera, and then you may have some video analytics as well that you want to send down to the ground. So that's the 1776. We then also have the 1776 UAV, which is um, designed to be uh, specifically more targeted at HDMI and composite as input types. So you have your main board here, which has a fly lead connection to a HDMI board. So these two connect together like this, and you've got your composite already on the main board. Uh, you have the option of a heat sink as well, so you can, um, and these are actually machines specifically to the board. So you can see there's, there's different variants available, um, but they're custom designed to the layout so that it dissipates the heat, um, and it's designed to be mounted up against another metal um, side or something along those lines just to eliminate the heat. So this particular um, variant, the 1776 UAV, has been designed with this fly lead. Um, and this has been designed specifically with vibration in mind because when you have um, these products in an airborne vehicle or in a 
in a vehicle, land vehicle of any sort, obviously there is a lot of vibration to take into consideration. And fixed HDMI connections, such as this one, um, are subject to a lot of flex. Um, and there can be a lot of problems with these that go wrong over a period of time. Um, so that's why we have this as an option. And we also have a mini HDMI variant. This is just the standard one as well. So that's that one. And then we also have the 1776 ZB. And the ZB is designed to work specifically with the Sony LVDS zoom block camera range. Um, but it also has an additional two inputs. So uh, it's, it's designed to be the same size as the Sony zoom block camera. So it's designed to be mounted onto the back of the camera itself, but it can also take other inputs as well. In terms of all of the 1776 range that I've just showed you there, the additional benefit of them is that they come with a low latency software decoder, which comes included when you buy any of these products. And glass to glass, you can expect a latency of around 100 milliseconds, providing your network's clean and clear. Moving on to an older product that we have in our range, but still very, very widely sold, is the 1773. Now, this particular product's benefit is that it is uh, on the main board, it has a composite input. We have a lot of customers that specifically like having a composite input, but then they also can add uh, an, an additional mezzanine, which allows for an additional one HDMI or one HDSDI or an additional composite input. The 1773 range is limited to H.264 at P30. Um, so it's H 1920 by 1080 P30 on the HD input. And then it's just the standard composite, which is SD. Yeah, so overall, that's the general overview of some of the products that we do in our UAV range. We are also continuing to update and to improve our range. Um, another thing also just to, to bear in mind is that if you have something really specific in terms of a project that maybe doesn't fit any of these specifically, we also have an OEM or customization option as well. Um, so please feel free to get in touch with regards to that if you need. Please subscribe to our YouTube um, to follow for any more videos. Also, our website is www.antrica.com. Um, and if you have any sales inquiries, please email sales at antrica.com.